Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. I am back with a new paper crafting video just for you, sharing new ideas with embossing for your card making. I'm going to be using some products from WOW. They have some new embossing powders out that I think are fabulous. But we're gonna start with backgrounds. This is the Hexagon Stamp. I'm going to use that for some emboss resist techniques. And I'm using this trio of embossing powders that are called the Pastel Gemstones. They're pretty special. We'll talk about that more. I'll be using the Superior Smooth White Cardstock from WOW to stamp out this hexagon image using their embossing powder, which is an ink that is sticky and it stays wet long enough for you to be able to do techniques and get the powder on there and get it melted. And it, it's just great ink. So I am stamping that down and embossing it with clear powder, also from WOW. So I'm going to have an image that at first is going to be hard to see, but the techniques we're gonna do with resist are really gonna help that image pop right off this cardstock. So now the powder's on, it's time to melt this. I'm using the WOW embossing tool, and the cool thing about this embossing gun is that it has two settings, one for melting and one for like drying things, so that's really fun. All right, I did two more backgrounds, one where I stamped the image at an angle, and then one I just partially stamped the paper. So we're gonna make three cards, and our first resist technique is watercolor. I'm going to use a Salvage Patina Distress Oxide ink to watercolor right over this stamped image. I press the pad down onto my glass mat, and then I'm picking up that ink and brushing it on with my paintbrush. Now, I don't want a ton of water because this is not watercolor paper, so it's just a light wash, and it's pretty light here. I did actually go back when it was dry and add a second layer, which you can see right here. And then I'm going to splatter because I'll just get let you in on a little secret if you're new here. I love splatter. I love to splatter all of the things. So to me, this just adds like another layer of interest to my card. All right, next we're going to do resist with a spray. This is the Worn Lipstick Distress Oxide Spray. I'm spraying that right over the top of the embossed background where I only stamped the paper partially. So I let that dry for just a minute, but then I can come in with the paper towel and buff off any ink that's sitting on top of that embossed hexagon image. And you can see how that really pops. And I kind of have the look of splatter going on in the background because of that spray. So I wanted to um, just like intensify that look. So I took my water sprayer, the distress sprayer, and then spritzed that, dried it off with first a uh, dry towel, and then second on that low setting with the heat tool. Then I just took the nozzle straight from the bottle and flicked on some more larger drops of the same color. And there's the background. All right, number three, we are doing resist with some traditional style ink blending. I have Distress Oxide ink and mustard seed, and I wanna make an ombre-like background. So first, I'm just gonna do like a light dusting of color all the way down. Um, I am leaving a little bit of white at the bottom, and then I'll go back over it and really intensify the color at the top. And then again, once I'm done, I can buff off any ink that's sitting on top of that embossed image and it really makes it pop. You can see the white of that paper showing through that clear embossed image. I decided to splatter this one as well. So first with the water <laughs> and then I'll come in and dry that with my heat tool just to make sure that the next layer of splatter is gonna show up good on a dry surface. And I brought in the mustard seed distress oxide spray and used the nozzle to flick on some ink. All right, now let's move on to embossing die cuts. I'm going to die cut each of these words. They're large die cut words from Trinity Stamps. Celebrate, hello, and thanks. Now these also do uh, hot foiling if you're interested in that. So they die cut and do hot foiling. I die cut out the word and stuck it to a piece of heffy tape because you can select the size and it's like paper on one side and a low tech stick on the other. I can use that to press the word into my embossing pad and not get too much ink on my fingers until maybe this part. But I'm removing it with my tweezers and then I'm gonna sprinkle on, this is the blue aventurine powder. So it is like a turquoise powder that's really fine with a larger powder that's gold floating in it. 
And when you emboss it, it looks like the gold flecks are floating in the blue part. It is so cool. Like it's hard for me to explain it to you because it is that neat. So there it is with one layer, but I really wanted to try this and add a second layer. So I'm repeating the same exact process, pressing that die cut into the ink and then removing it from the paper, sprinkling on the powder. And now I'm going to heat so that, that again, the first layer is like subtle in the background and then the next layer is sitting on top and really floating in that blue powder wow I mean this is how they got their name <laughs> wow embossing powders right so I'm gluing that onto the shadow layer which I die cut from some gold brushed cardstock I repeated that with the other um words and you'll see that as I make each individual card. So we're going to stamp a supporting sentiment to go with the thanks and this is another stamp set from Trinity Stamps. I'll have all the things I used linked for you below so you can check that out um, but it's called supporting sentiments. You can put it with these die cuts that you have and you probably already have die cuts like this at home with the scripty words so you can try this out with any words that you have and any embossing powders that you have. So now I emboss the supporting sentiment with gold and as I'm making these cards I kept seeing my gold metallic acrylic paint out of the side of my eye so I will be using it to splatter on all of my cards today just to help bring out the gold that's in that embossing powder so I glued that down to a top folding a2 size card I added my so very much and then the thanks I'll glue on so it's right above that and this card is so cool already but simple I love that sometimes it's hard for me to make a simple card I don't, I don't know if this really qualifies but for me I would consider this a somewhat simple card there you can get a close-up look at that embossing powder isn't it amazing oh it's really cool okay so we're going to move on to card number two this time we're using the word celebrate so again we're pressing it in to that embossing pad covering the whole thing with ink and then sprinkling on the powder so this time I'm using rose quartz so it's that pink rose color with the gold flecks floating in it if you love this powder I did a, another video recently with the party popper set which is more bright colors where these are more pastel and it has white and gold floating in the colored powder uh, so cool I'll have that video linked for you at the end of this video so you can check it out if you missed that one but look at that celebrate <gasps> it's so gorgeous I really I need you guys to like see this in person it's so amazing okay I'm going to glue that down to its shadow layer again I use the brush gold and then the supporting sentiment says so proud of you and I am embossing that with gold powder from wow and it just is going to help you know bring out all the gold elements in my card so I'm gluing that down to another a2 size card this one is more um uh, the long way so it's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a fourth and I did add the gold splatter and then I can just glue everything down in place and I didn't talk about the embellishments these embellishments are um, from Trinity stamps there's some gold baubles they have a brushed look on top so I thought it went really well with that brushed gold paper and it just had the right tone of gold you know yeah so there's the finished celebrate card look at all the texture and dimension and interest in there with these fun techniques okay for the third card I am doing the word hello but I die cut it from yellow because this um, lemon amber powder is a really light yellow a cool yellow not a warm yellow but it didn't quite go well with the background I already created so I decided to use yellow cardstock as my base and oh my gosh it is so cool and it just shows that you can use these powders with colored cardstock to get a different look with them and I love that so my supporting sentiment now says just a note to say and it will go with my hello and um, that is going to go on the background that is kind of offset off the card so I decided I would kind of offset my saying but you know up until uh, I mean even after this video was already made I didn't realize that I have it say hello just a note to say yeah, sometimes I'm not as bright as I look. <laughs> All right, that's going on a top folding card. So 11 inches by four and a fourth, scored at five and a half. And I'm adding on some more of those baubles because they're the perfect embellishment. And I now have a set of three cards on hand that I can send out when I need something to say hello or thanks or... Um, what did the other one say? Celebrate. I wanted to say congrats, but I knew that wasn't right. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, I've gotten way off track now, but here's the three cards. I had so much fun with that embossing powder. I'm telling you, it is really cool. And it just is like, you know, when you need something new to play with to spark your mojo, that is this powder. I'm telling you, it is really amazing. So I am so excited that I got to share some products from WOW with you this month. I was guest designing for them. So if you missed the other video, I actually have two other videos. I will link that next one for you and you can check out the Party Popper set of embossing powders. So I thank you so much for stopping by and spending a little bit of time with me today because I love sharing my creations with you. If you are new, feel free to subscribe because I have new paper crafting videos all the time. And I'll see you very soon on the next one. Happy stamping. Bye.